currently businesses are transgressing technology is making life easy you can get yourself a rental you can book yourself an office space at the comfort of your home with the chats in a real estate i am ashava hemo erina and today we are having the ceo of both beijing international real estate and the chasina real estate you are welcome mr akanganao ben armstrong thank you thank you for hosting me my pleasure welcome to, to this show thank you uh you are the ceo the co-founder the partner of the chasina yes um you could call me all of them but uh uh one chasina was an idea that came long time ago before i even started beijing um and i started it i had an idea with a friend but later a friend moved on to other things so i i, I would like i always give credit back to him yeah uh, he's still a friend but now i of course everything and i've been pushing it alone so i would say yeah co-founder and uh, I'm, uh, i'm the ceo in case you're out there and you don't know what you're going to talk about today, basically we are going to talk about business online. How how the digital world has transgressed everything, how everything has changed to 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 get into the internet. Uh, this is a, a website, an online platform where you can rent yourself an apartment, home, office space, anything as he will be telling us more. Uh, so I'm going to go to the beginning of Chasina. How did yeah. you come up with the name Chasina? Because I was typing the name somewhere and then huh. someone was like, Chasina, how can someone come up with yeah. that? So how did you start with Chasina? The fact is, many people ask me that question. And uh, you know, I, I'm one person who likes local names. You know, I, I, I always wonder why my parents called me Armstrong. I, they would have given me another Nyangwele name. <laughs> yeah, something like that. that. That's good. I like local names. I don't like... Uh, I always want to, I mean, look at the source of a product and bring it back to its real source. Then, you know, a company grows and people start thinking, that's an American company. That's why, that's why. When it is here. So when it is here in Ibarara, so that's why when I was looking for a name, I looked for a name that is basic. You know, I like cows. Yeah, I grew up in an area where there is a lot of cows. So, Chasina was one of those cows that I like. So I called it the company. Yeah, basically that's it. That is good. In case you want to know the background of this, I can do another Armstrong. Then you can check our videos because we had an interview with him some time back. Yeah. Now to Chasina, help me connect um, um the name of the company to what it does real estate now basically i would say the name is far far away from what it does because uh, when you look at the name it's a name of uh, where i come from it's a name of a cow and uh, now the, the the business is really different however i uh, i didn't you know, some people choose names that are really direct to the product they have or the service they offer. Uh, and uh, I did that with the first product we have, Beijing. Beijing is really for, for low price. So we're looking at something that is low price. Uh, and again, we're looking for, I mean, the name that resonates with East Africa, something is not going out. It's why they like joins us together. But when I came to Chasin, I was like, ah, let it keep down to my roots. So back to my home, and I was like, I like this, and 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 I liked it, the, the the part of uniqueness because I would say, just in our friends are like, ah, you man, now you're taking us back to to your home, eh? but I like it. Most of the businesses are getting online. If yeah. you are not using the internet to market your business, if you're not using the, the usual way of face to face or meeting a client, mm. first of all, you are using internet. Yeah. How do you find doing business on internet? In this time, I would really say someone who is looking at people face to face, I would say your business is dying. I mean, I don't give it a lot of time. Yes, it used to make sense back in the days. I mean, I, I think right now if I told my dad uh, that I can buy a product in China, 
uh, and uh, and uh, ship it to USA in Amazon stores and then sell it and uh, and earn a commission without seeing a product, with it, just doing everything on the computer, he would maybe think I'm crazy or something. Yeah, but that is the fact. I mean we've moved somehow to a different world and we really have to adapt to we can't do business the traditional way so i really think we have to embrace the technology that is around us and uh, do what we are supposed to do uh, you know promote our business trade uh, because at the end of the day i can just go on the internet put up something that was going to stay for the whole uh, of the year or more i mean and I don't understand how you're going to uh, just wait for people to come or move to a house and a house telling people about the product. I mean, if you compare the two, they don't really, uh, it's, there's a big difference. So all in all, uh, I, I can't say that I'm finding it hard doing uh, business online because I think it would be much harder the other way around. So this is an improvement. I, I mean... Whoever made the internet made us a big, big, I, I, I mean, I would, I would give him like half my company or whatever I have, <laughs> because he really did this. I can, I, I'm, I'm doing everything is easy now because of that. So there's no any way you can compare he, uh, such uh, service, I mean, or that kind of marketing to the old one. Yeah, this is really good. And um, uh, we, of course, we hope at progressing and improving it. In detail, yes. in detail, what yes. does Chasina do? So, Chasina, it's an online rental platform. It's like an online rental marketplace. So, I mean marketplace, not a marketplace where you find tomatoes, uh, uh, you know, whatever. This is a marketplace where you find uh, different options of hotel rooms or hotel facilities. Uh, different options of commercial buildings, and these have uh, shops, um, office space, then of course accommodation as well. Then we have options of apartments, rentals, then we have guest houses, we have homes, uh, homes where, which are shared uh, for both uh, short stay, and then we have homes that are, are, are rented on their own as a whole standalone house. So apartments are furnished, the, the unfurnished ones, we have a variety. And of course with time we look at adding services, I mean experiences. And these experiences can come in uh, the things you can do when you visit a place, say the things you can do in Imbarada. Uh, can you go to the Kimbur and have, see the animals, or I don't know, or move around and see our old kings and, 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 and you know our history. So we are looking at adding that, but as, at the moment, it, the service we offer are those options. So what you do if you're looking for a house in Imbarada? I mean, rental. yes, a rental, not sell, rental. It could be a hotel, you're here for a short stay. You could be looking for a furnished apartment that is rented for a short stay. Uh, maybe you're here for a week or even less. Then the people who are staying, who have been transferred from different places and they're coming to Mbarara. And when I say Mbarara, I use it as an example. It's an, a service that covers the whole country at the moment. So we, we have hotel options in Gulu, in Kitgum, in Imbale, in uh, Kisoro, in Kasese, in uh, everywhere in the country. And of course we look at going uh, beyond the borders, yes. So basically that's what Chasina does. So you come in and uh, you contact us, we book for your hotel, or we book for you uh, 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 um, an apartment. But those options are always there on the platform. We have options, enough information about the property that you are facilitated that you're going to rent. So we have uh, information in terms of pictures of the facility, real time and actual pictures then um all the basic at least basic information the size of the place uh, the prices uh, the location at least the basic information someone needs to choose or decide which facility they should rent i get that yeah, yes now i have visited chasina and i'm yes. looking at uh, at a, a very nice room to rent yeah, or yes. i want to go somewhere and then i want to book a hotel mm. a hotel room yes do I contact you, the CEO, or I have a certain kind of procedure that I go through and which, which procedure you No, Chasina is not me. 
Chasina is a, an independent party. I'm just the face of Chasina. I just talk about Chasina, but Chasina is there and it's bigger than me. So I'm not the only one who works at Chasina. We have a big team of really smart and intelligent people who have been really working on this. So what you do, we have a contact form on Chasina. If you like a product, is the way you contact us, right on the platform. So when you contact us, you could be uh, replied by... Uh, any of our sales team uh, to guide you and tell you whether that property is still available, it's not rented, and uh, you know the process you have to go through. So we have really smart people behind. Uh, me, I'm just the face of the company. Uh, I mean, we have really good people, so you don't need to contact me or anything. I don't think even on the platform there's any line that I receive. <laughs> and they are received by other people, so yeah, but really good people. We try our best to improve every day so that they give you the best experience. Having a website and not having a website, mm -hmm. like doing business on online yeah. and making making everything online. Yeah. How what is the experience you've had? Because it it, it is a wider thing. You you connect with different kinds of people. What is yeah. the what could be your experience while operating or working with trust? Uh, it's 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 always good experience. I mean, it's challenging, but fun. I I I don't always take life to be easy, so I always expect the the hard part. I and and most of these things I do are, are, are always sometimes the first time things and all. Uh, but Chasina was something that stayed in mind for so long. So you know when we're like, okay, let's let me let uh, let me gather a team and we push this. It is something that uh, had been in mind for quite a while, and um, we kept on pushing it away. Like we we'll do it, we we'll do it someday. We'll do it someday, and someday became someday. Uh, until I was like, no, enough is enough. Uh, someday is today. Uh, so it happened. Yeah, it's it's quite challenging, uh, getting information, and you know, when you're starting a business, sometimes. You, you, you get a lot of information from people. Uh, I mean, we are young people, so we have different people you consult here and there. They're like, how do I do this? Uh, you know? And of course, they give you different uh, kind of advice and uh, information. So by picking the right one, it's always the hard part. Uh, so it has been quite challenging, but fun as well. Working on, on internet, yes. there are very, very, very different, different challenges. Yes. But before we come to the challenges, the team, yes. you work with different kinds of people. Yeah. As the CEO, you, when you were setting up this business, you had targets, you yes. had aims, you had those things that you wanted to achieve. Yeah. How do you find working with a team? Because sometimes people have different kinds of ambitions, okay. and you as the, the CEO of a person who runs the company also has different ambitions. Yeah. How do you find your team? How do you find working with a team of different kinds of expectations? I think one of the biggest thing a leader has to do is to move the idea, that share the idea that he has in his head to the team so that the whole team share his idea so that they can so you're moving to one goal not uh, uh not uh, getting someone you bring them on the team they have a different understanding of uh, of an idea i as i like reading and uh, i was reading some book uh, that called the art of war we are not fighting it's just a book and uh I, you know someone was talking and like uh, the, the writer was like if you're the general and uh you talk to your soldiers and you give them an order or you have a goal and they do a totally different thing. Now, there are possi two possibilities. Either you didn't explain the thing very well to them and they had to do a different thing or you explained to them but they didn't understand. The first one, it's your problem. You didn't really explain that thing to these people, uh, to your team, uh, to your soldiers and they understand it. But the second thing them not understanding, I mean, them, you explaining very well and them doing a different thing, now that is their problem. So you have to be careful here. Sometimes we think we are doing the right thing. Sometimes we think they are the problem when we are the problem. So you have to be really careful. But uh, I think with the right team, 
it should be easy to 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 move the goal you have with these people and they can share the same goal with you and then you can push the product day by day to where it's supposed to be of course it's always challenging you have five people you have ten people maybe all of them are, are not going to take it but that's that's also a job of uh, any leader to build a team so sometimes you will lose people sometimes you add some sometimes you will go back and reflect on your own way of communicating to these people but all in all i would say it's good i mean i think the main thing is sharing with these people the same idea with my team the same idea and i think i've been trying my best to do that and uh, i appreciate also what my team has been doing to uh, share the same idea with me and of course you know when you're bringing different people on one thing uh, uh, that's the good thing with diversity everyone have their idea they have their own experiences however much you share the same goal here everyone will contribute something different they bring this they bring this they even bring things you didn't expect all the things you didn't think about and they're like yeah we should do this and then, then you find it good and then you find it something you are missing so that is the whole part with team so of course i would rather rather work with a team than stay there and i'm like i'm going to push the thing on my own i i mean you can't you can't unless maybe you want to keep us something small but if you want to really build a global plan you can't do it alone you have to use some help yeah have you faced competition in any way? Oh yeah, big time, of uh, course. And uh, how, how have you managed to pull to push through? Um, one one of the ways we are being competed, yeah, it's not uh, one way per se. Um, like for hotels, there are many big brands that have been existing. The kind of Booking dot com, uh, and those, of course peak mostly foreigners coming in the country and stuff like that but that shouldn't be a problem i don't really f find competition a problem I, I i find it motivation so so i i, I and uh, i think if there is no competition we become lazy and we are there so with the competition we Oops. we learn we try to make our product better better than others and the whole service so at the end of the day the person who is going to use our product or service benefits and and of course we should have these products or services to help i mean solve a problem in the society like for example you would imagine uh because now hotels maybe they, you could find many options of hotels in uh in uh, uh on internet and i think every bigger hotel in uganda at least has its own website now that means maybe it has the contacts are there someone can book a hotel when they're coming from uganda to Chis kampala to chisoro but think of a rental think of someone who has a small rental pl i mean a, a rental unit um he's not thinking of a website because come on putting in a website that would be an extra cost why do you need a website for 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 a, a, a rental one two three four rentals you know so but it doesn't mean that this person doesn't want tenants and sometimes houses can be empty for months when he's looking for tenants so this is the product we bring to that person this is a solution we bring that person we put your product we put your, your your rentals online on our platform and we display it to the whole world so someone who is coming from barara kampala gulu and is coming to Chisoro, they come and when they come we direct them right to you so they've seen your product uh, your property your facility already online and they've liked it for some reason maybe it fits their pocket size what they want and everything so they come to you and at a small fee you pay so you don't have to pay the whole money one two millions to build a website which will be there you don't know how to manage it and I, oh you will hire someone to do that for you so we do that for you another cost a small cost which only you pay when we give you a client we should not give you a client you don't pay us yeah so at the end of the day it's a service that i really really hope um serves two people you who have us a facility looking for a tenant and the person who has been moved to a different place and they want a, a, a room they can't find or maybe they want a place for a shop or for office 
Yeah. So. There are some people who are not aware of internet, who are yeah. not aware of such websites. Mm. They don't know how to go about certain things. Yeah. Do you have a, a certain project or a kind of session <laughs> where you help, where, where you help these people get to know that there is a certain kind of website? See, this website makes life easy. It helps you get tenants. Is there that that kind of project? At the moment, if I understood your question well, maybe how we can make these people know that there's just enough people who are yeah uh, at the moment we've been mostly marketing using uh, uh online platforms so buying facebook ads buying uh, twitter ads you know social media platform ads using google ads the the the, the, the basic marketing however we are looking at um, increasing our promoting our budget to promote and go radio tv and maybe even print so that we can have more people know about this product uh, uh, other than internet uh, but mostly we find it more more and more relevant of course on the internet just that people who are going to use this product are going to first visit the internet so it's more Okay, when you find people who are already on the internet, I don't know whether you get my logic, but still there are people who maybe use TV a lot. Or, you know, when you're marketing, you, you shouldn't be selective. However much at the start, you look at something that is more relevant to you and is going to make more impact for for this product. Here. So for now, we've been choosing um, internet. And uh, of course, every day. This is not a very big company that has been existing for years. Uh, this is a small company that we're looking at building more and more. And uh, of course, every day and then we can increase their budget. I mean, the budget, the marketing budget, and more. For of course, we'll have to cover those people too, so that someone can maybe learn to use a smartphone and check out Chasina. Something I forgot to ask you in the very beginning. For how long have you been operating? We've been operating for. We are almost finishing our first year. How how, how so, do you rate the business in that one year? I, it's good. It's good that. Uh, even in our first year, we are starting to generate some revenue. So I, I know I've run businesses, and sometimes in the first year, of course, uh, such a business is not like a shop, a retail shop you're going to put out there, and people, in the end of the day, they are going to start coming in and ask you for salt or soda or something. An online platform is a uh, way you're going to bring a team, build a team, start putting in a pro By the time you start getting revenue, getting people visiting you and buying from i mean picking some products from you it's some um, usually it's time but uh we've been lucky that we are already generating some revenue from the platform so i really think it's uh it's doing well i don't know whether you mind me asking you this question but i would like to know how you generate the income you have you're running a, a website the costs of running a website you're going to look at that mm. you you You've, you've uploaded your content and okay. where is the revenue bit? How do you generate the income? Well, now the revenue bit comes in from two people. Now, for the service we offer, we charge both parties. So uh, you're looking for uh, a property, uh, I mean a rental facility. Now, when we get you a rental facility, uh, we charge you some small money it's uh and uh of course if you want to read like on our rates and everything we have all that information on our website yeah but uh the same time uh the other person uh, we also charge something small the person who is owning the property at the start we looked at um you know i have to give you a small background uh before i started when i was starting the chini real estate as uh, typically a broker so sometimes i used to broke houses and uh, when we used to do that uh, this is what we used to do sometimes um, i take you to a house i get your house and maybe when you're going to pay rent of um, say three hundred thousand per month uh, uh, you pay me maybe a hundred thousand for getting your house after then the landlord also pays me like a hundred or 150 so the total is like 250 but in my opinion, sometimes this is a big figure, you know, uh, for both ends. One, you're looking for a house, 
but yeah i think we could get a service that is more better and still cheaper and the other person the landlord you're getting a client you have to first maintain the house you know work on it and, and sometimes you know business is hard sometimes the client stays in two three months four months and then they leave so yeah, at the end of the day you, you find you're not making some reason money so that's why on Jasina we try to revise our figures so both ends are charged but a really really fair figure and um, it could be percentages sometimes we we group our rates but at least we revise the rate so to answer your question every time we get we connect to people and we only charge when the it is successful someone has taken a house and paid that's when we only charge you we don't be like i inspected the place and then i left and you like pay us no no no, no we don't do that yes uh, this is something that uh, i don't think has been so tiresome it's challenging and good yeah it's because you have a good team yeah i um, guess you you've been running Beijing for for a year now that means chasina chasina mm. sorry you've been running chasina for, for a year, year now mm. and that means you've faced some challenges of course we will talk about that after yeah. the break we are going to handle the challenges after the break that has been part or partly what you need to know about chasina after the break, we're going to handle the challenge bit. Mr. will be right back.